Are you considering making a switch to a more whole, plant-based dietary lifestyle, but wonder, where will I get my protein? This is one of the most common questions, so you're not alone. Contrary to popular belief, you don't need to eat meat or get your daily dose of protein. That means you do not need to eat meat, fish, fowl, eggs, and dairy products to get the protein you need. This animal product myth is based on the false belief that having a lot of animal protein is good for us. In fact, the opposite is true because excess animal protein has contributed to many problems related to inflammation and a rise in chronic illnesses and lacks key nutrients and fiber that support health. So first, let's start by answering your question, where do I get my protein? Getting the protein your body needs is vital. Protein is essential to every cell and organ system in the body. The word protein comes from the Greek word protos, which means of prime importance. For generations, we have been taught that protein is important and that a well-balanced diet will supply all of our protein needs. And though this may make sense, have you ever stopped to ask yourself, what are the best sources of protein in a balanced diet? Or more importantly, what is a balanced diet? To answer those critical nutritional questions, let's start at the very beginning and explore what protein is, and how to give your body everything it needs to protect your health and fight disease. Protein is one of the three macronutrients, along with fats and carbohydrates. Protein is the main building block of the human body. It makes up our bones, muscles, cartilage, skin, hair, nails, immune cells, enzymes, and even the oxygen-carrying hemoglobin in our blood. In fact, about 17% of our body is made up of protein. Protein is made up of 20 small building blocks called amino acids that combine, like beads on a string, to create different types of proteins. These different proteins that make up things like hair, skin, and nails all serve different functions based on their makeup. But when it comes to making proteins, there are nine essential amino acids that your body cannot produce and must instead come from the foods that you eat. And the good news is that these essential amino acids can also be found in plant foods. So how much protein do you need to be healthy? According to the recommended daily allowance, RDA, the average person requires 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight, and athletes have a higher need of up to 1.6 to 1.8 grams per kilogram. These are just ranges, so your actual needs may be slightly lower. For example, most women require approximately 46 grams of protein per day, whereas men often eat about 56 grams per day. At first glance, this may seem like a lot of protein. However, the truth is, most people are likely getting too much protein. Research has found that the average person today consumes between 90 to 135 grams of protein on a daily basis. In some cases, it can even be as high as 200 grams. You might think having more protein is a good thing, but excess protein is simply excess calories that inevitably get stored as fat. The extra protein is dangerous and can damage your kidneys, cause conditions like gout, leach calcium from your bones, increase inflammation, and even reduce the healthy functioning of your immune system. And here's an eye-opening fact. Consuming too much animal protein can even contribute to osteoporosis. It's true. See, when we consume excessive animal protein, including dairy products, it creates an acidic environment in our bodies. And in order to neutralize the excess acid, your body pulls calcium from your bones. Then the acid and calcium mixed gets filtered by your kidneys and later get concentrated and excreted in your urine. But don't worry, we'll talk more about this in our Dispelling the Calcium Myth video. Now, though, it's time for some protein myth-busting. Myth. Ancient hunter-gatherer groups had a diet that consisted largely of animal products, and so should you. Fact. The longest-lived and healthiest populations around the world share a dietary pattern that is actually 95% whole food plant-based. When researchers studied the Blue Zones, the five regions of the world where people have historically lived the longest and have some of the lowest incidences of chronic disease, they saw one interesting diet trend. They all ate predominantly plant-based foods. Myth. To stay healthy, you need to get all nine essential amino acids in a complete protein, meat, eggs, and dairy are ideal sources. Fact. 
Your body is extremely intelligent and is able to acquire all of the essential amino acids it needs from the wide variety of foods you eat each day. In fact, research has shown that people who eat a well-balanced, whole food, plant-based diet meet or actually exceed the recommended daily requirement for protein, including all of the essential amino acids. That's because your body breaks down every protein, whether from animal or plant sources, into smaller chains or amino acids. All of these amino acids are then absorbed and used or stored for later. So, if you're eating a whole food, plant-based diet, you'll get all of the essential amino acids your body needs and more than enough protein. Myth. The best sources of protein for humans are from meat, fish, fowl, eggs, and dairy. Fact. This is false. You may be surprised to learn that all protein comes from plants. Grass, algae, leaves, grains, and even fruit. As plants grow, they create amino acids from the soil, air, and sun. Animals of all types, from small fish to cows, then eat the plants and absorb the amino acids to grow healthy and strong. So, when you consume meat, you're getting a secondary source of protein. To cut out the protein middle creature, you can go straight to the primary source of protein, plants. Think of it this way. Large grazing animals like cows, gorillas, and elephants are all herbivores, meaning they eat only plants, yet they are not lacking in muscle mass. Instead, they're able to grow big and strong just by eating plants, and so will you. Myth. Meat, fish, fowl, eggs, and dairy contain more protein than plant foods. Fact. The truth is, a whole plant food-based diet actually has the same amount of protein as animal-derived foods. Weird, but it's true. This chart shows a comparison of 500 calories of plant-based food versus 500 calories of animal food. Let's take a look at a comparison of diets. Surprising, isn't it? Now you know what your best source of protein really is. Let me repeat. You can get all the protein and the best form you need from plant sources. The next time you go to a restaurant and order a baked potato and veggies, or a bean bowl with brown rice, or a fresh salad with a variety of veggies, and the waiter asks, would you like some protein with that? You'll be able to explain that the potato, rice, beans, greens, and veggies are your protein. If an animal-based Western diet and a whole food, plant-based diet both supply you with enough protein to stay healthy, then the next most important question to answer is, how do you want your protein packaged? If you choose plant-based protein, you'll get an all-natural source of protein that contains vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants to reduce inflammation, phytochemicals to promote healing, fiber to make you feel full, avoid constipation, break down cholesterol and estrogen, and protect against cancer. And that last one is the most important because fiber can only be found in plants. In fact, even though researchers suggest 25 to 35 grams of daily fiber, the average person consumes only 15 to 16 grams of disease-preventing fiber each day, and well below the 70 to 100 grams of fiber the longest living groups consume daily. But if you choose animal protein, you'll get your protein packed with So, you probably guessed, it's time to pass the plants, please. And if you're looking for the best sources of plant-based proteins, here they are. All of these foods can be used to make delicious meals, from soups to stews, burritos to curry vegetables, pizza, and more. And the plant protein sources that are best for you are also great for the environment. Talk about a win-win. Did you know that 10 times as much land, water, and energy are required to produce an animal-based diet compared to a plant-based diet? It's true. It takes two football fields of land to feed one person eating an animal-based Western diet every year. However, those same two football fields could feed 14 people each year on a plant-based diet. Now you know, the best source of protein is as close to nature's package as possible whole grains, beans and lentils, veggies, fruits, nuts and seeds. These fiber-filled, nutrient-dense, health-protecting, disease-fighting foods provide everything we need to grow healthy and strong, no matter if you are a bookworm or world-class athlete. So, where will you get your protein? Don't forget to say, pass the beans and greens. For more information, 
ask your healthcare provider or visit www.plantritionproject.org.